Good evening. I'm a little bit late. It's just after eight o'clock. Hope everyone's had a lovely week. Do pop in and say hello. Don't just sit and screenshot everything. My name is Mimi and welcome to the channel. The camera is off at the minute because I'm still um, setting up, but I am here. Kirsty, hello my lovely. How are you? All right, Kev. How you doing? So I've messed about with me laptop and turned off the Wi-Fi because I'm daft. Oh, yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> hey up, Baz. Hi, Cass. Right. Am I good? That's the question. Froggy! No, I've got to move my chair. Oh, what was that? Oh, what was the one minute? One minute. Hold on one sec. I've just got a mute. I thought I heard the door. <laughs> it was hubby just coming to check because I'd messed about with the bloody Wi-Fi a minute ago. So I had to message a really good friend who's been helping me with all the, the laptop and stuff. And he's like, do, do, just press this button and it'll come back on. And I'm guessing I've got to restart the laptop because, no. It hasn't, but hello. How is everyone? Oh, vanilla ice cream, Kirsty. I'm so jealous. It's not fair. Where's mine? So, how's everyone's week been? Hey. <laughs> Did the Xbox go off? I know. <laughs> no, he was just checking. Restart, yeah, that's what I thought. What can I say? I'm the Wally that thought, because it's hardwired, I thought I'd turn the Wi-Fi off to make sure that the, the hardwire is working. You know what I'm like, Cass. It's in farm food. <laughs> Baz. Mm. I'd love some ice cream at the moment. No, nope, they're not in my pocket anymore. They're there. That'd be well nice. I wouldn't sit in front of you lot and eat it, though. That's for sure. Thank you, frogs. But just as long as everything's okay, you can see and hear and all that lot, would be fine. Oh, really, Cass? because you you do too much you need to rest 
Nelly. Oh, do you know what? That's quite nice, Kirsty, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Jerry Boy, if you do watch this back, Frogs has put your, your link in the chat. Oh, now it's telling me to hide it. So, has everyone had a lovely week? What's happened this week? Come on. Talk to me. What's happened? How's everyone doing? <laughs> oh, I thought I'd lost something then Apart from my marbles, that is Oh, I'm glad to hear it, Kirsty And they fixed your door mm. Yes, Kev, she did Quite sad but at least she's back with her husband now. Bless her. It's going to be weird getting used to a king. Definitely. But no, she's um, she's not in any more pain. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone clapping yet, frogs. Oh, that's good, Kirsty. Glad to hear it. I'm going to have to stop notifications on this laptop because it's doing my editing. So I've not been out here all week. I've not had a chance to practice the um resin <laughs> um i've not even had a chance to practice what i'm doing tonight so as always i will be winging it but you lot know what i'm like by now anyway so um some of you some of you know i went live during the week couple of days ago okay oh yeah they're, they're doing well good there's a couple in the house as well little lady won't walk past no it's spiders i'm like they're harmless they're on the ceiling they're not gonna hurt you honestly right donut but yeah i popped on a live during the week um <laughs> and I basically said that if you want me to, like if you want to air any grievances, we'll do it during the week. Thinking about it, this is why I went live only on a Sunday. Because the time that I have during the week is kind of limited. So what I've decided is we're going to do the crafts okay and then 20 minutes or half an hour at the end we'll stop all that and then if you've got any any beef any grievances that you lot want to air wait until the end and we'll do it then because like i say i've not always got time during the week i don't mind you guys airing it on here i really i'm not fussed it's my name on the channel okay so I will take the flack for it, so to speak. But rather than going live during the week and using up StreamYard hours and all that lot, we'll do it at the end of the live stream on a Sunday, if that's okay with everyone. Yeah, just to make the point, only person who's ever sent me a gift off my wish list did so because they requested me to craft them something and I refused to be paid for the item. So they get, see, you know us, Cass. You know 
that the comments we make are not aimed at you. We don't even have to tell you that. Like I said, it's my opinion. I would not do that on my channel purely because it's my choice to do all this. So why should I ask other people to pay for it? You know that wasn't aimed at you. So whatever anyone wants to say, they can say. Because it just, psh, with me, don't even acknowledge it. And at the end of the day, you do a lot more content than I do. So if you want, the channel is very different. Exactly. If you want to get help for what you do, then by all means do it. It was just my personal opinion. I would not do that. You know, you know the deal, Cass. I don't have to explain it to you. But yeah, that's my opinion. I would not do that here. But, you know, some people do it just because they want this. No, you don't. Never do. I love you. In the night, in the night. Well, this week, I've got a short to put up, actually. Hi, Jerry boy. Um, a lovely friend came and done my nails for me. I don't know if you can see that. That hand might be better. Um, and she bought me some beautiful gifts. This is one of them. But then the rest of them, you're going to have to wait to see the short. She said, I saw it and I thought of you. So she's, um, and she's made a few things for me as well. I might, I might put that up tonight, actually, because I'm so excited. No, neither do I, Cass. Yeah, Jerry Boy, your link was put in the chat earlier, mate. Chase time. <laughs> So, yeah, we had that at the beginning of the week. Um, mm, car troubles. But, you know, everyone has that. What can I say? I'm going to kick it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, apart from that, it's been a good but busy week from my side. Uh, which to help people like and like me, me put great content out exactly the thing is Cass has shared the live stream many times and I didn't ask her to do that I never ask anyone to share or to stick their thumbs up or thumbs down or whatever you know it, people come on because they want to come on hi Will I won't I won't beg people to come on and I certainly wouldn't chase. Like I said to Baz earlier, if you're live, mate, go for it. Have a great stream. I'm not going to chase you. Although I might do because it might be funny. <laughs> I give my family security that we've never had before. But I get revenue from the thousands of views, most of which don't come from that community. Excuse me, I've not long eaten my dinner. Exactly. I found you via Mama Cash sharing your life. You did, Kirsty. You did. And the amount of times I've said thank you to Cass, bless her. She is a sweet. We love Cass. She knows that. Did you see him singing? Jerry Boy's done a couple of videos of him singing. He's not got a bad voice. I'll give you that one, Jerry Boy. <laughs> This thing keeps going out. Maybe you want it all. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to restart the um, laptop afterwards. Because dafty me turned the wire off. No, you don't have to, Cass. You really don't have to, mate. 
tonight's project is a little purse that I haven't practiced, so it's probably going to go wrong. But that's half the fun, really. <laughs> He's there. He's right above you, frogs. I was just saying, Wilf, actually, what we'll do, ignore the live stream during the week. Um, because sometimes I haven't got time to do that. So what we'll do, half an hour at the end. If anyone's got any grievances they want to air, we'll do it then. Okay. So if anyone does come on from like the crafting community, they can watch what I've done and then turn off. If you, I know you'll understand what I mean. Oh, you'll have to send a picture to me, Kirsty. Exciting. I love getting a new machine. I will be showing you the overlockers at some point. That is a two or four needle machine. Awesome, Wilf. I knew you'd understand. She did have a tiny one, Frogs, and it kind of went wrong yesterday. Oh, the brother. Ooh. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And I don't know, what do you reckon? Should I add the short afterwards tonight or should I wait till tomorrow? What do you think? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me what you want me to do. So, like I say, I haven't tested this. I'm winging it. Like I always do. May not chat much. but No worries, Nelly. You're all right, mate. I know you're there. Right. Plug that in. Fuck, bitchy eye. No, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> so, I'm going to use this unicorn fabric. Okay. Because I thought it was quite sweet. Let's cut off these tail ends. I saw the design and I thought, hmm, that might be quite nice to do. Because it can be done by hand as well. Um, so I saw the design and I thought, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a chance to test it during the week. But that didn't happen. So, we're doing it raw. Just cutting all the tail ends of this fabric. Yeah, it was it was tiny, wasn't it, your little machine? It was Diddy. If she sends me a picture, Frogs, I'll send it to you. Should it be the kind of girl that you could be down for me? You want to hear something tells me. You're the kind of girl that I feel they can move on. Then I won't be for real. Feel like something I need for you. Oh, Boo is doing really well. Thank you, Kirsty. What you're going through, I want to tell you. No matter. Right, they did say to put interfacing, which is the iron on um, frogs. You can say anything you wish. But I'm not going to use interfacing today because the iron's in its box, the ironing bolt's up there, the interface is in the drawer. So I'm going to look at some padding. Um, beginning with an S, just do yourself a favour, take your own advice. Don't bother screenshotting or screen recording. Uh, out the way. Back to what we're doing. Right, okay. Oh, Nelly's been feeling it. So, 
This is the padding I've got. It is four ounce padding. Okay. This isn't cotton padding, this one. This is polyester. Uh, which is why it's still in the packet. Because silly me wasn't paying attention when I pressed buy. You know what I'm like. I do have cotton padding. I think it's up in one of these drawers. Whose laugh is contagious? Tell me about it. You should try living with her. <laughs> so this is... Hmm, might be a bit thick, actually. Can you see, see the thickness of that? We'll give it a go. We will try. If not, then not. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut some of this off roughly the size that I know I'm going to need so this is just going to be a small purse okay yeah Baz of course man bloody farm foods <laughs> Right, let's pop that back in there. Because if I keep it in the packet, then it might not go everywhere. I hope. Right, put that back under there. Right, I don't want that ruler, do I? I want that one. Right, so basically what I need is I can either do it the shape of like a an oven mitt and then fold the bottom up and fold the top over or i could do it with a couple of sides sticking out so that when i fold up i can stitch the sides in and then it opens up wider so what do you think Just 20 pounds would be stumped <laughs> oh very nice there's a proper gem So what do you reckon? Should we just do the one that looks like a an oven mitt before it's sewn up? Oh, bless her. <laughs> I think we'll just go to 10 inches. Oh, no. <laughs> 
and you're all right, Will. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that might be too big actually. See, um, this is just proper being. I'm winging it, man. Being a tough. <laughs> and if we go to there. <laughs> Gonna know. Right, so we're going eight inches along, okay? And then, so you can't even see what I'm doing, can you? So, this is going to be the top part, okay? Oh, moth, get, go away. <sighs> And it's just landed on the fabric. Let me try and move it. Um, it must have known. Honestly. It heard me, didn't it? Or did one of you tell it? Now I've lost my pen. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this line here and then once I've cut the fabric out, we're going to do the curve for the top of the purse, okay? Could what? Fashion a tasseled... Ooh! Get me a pattern, mate, and I'll do it. So I did get a different fabric for the lining of this. Let me swipe that out of the way and chuck that behind you. bottom off just a little bit and I'll put a pen mark there but make it a little bit longer why not can't get used to oh yeah it's gonna be different isn't it right so that's gonna be the outside okay So then we need to cut the padding.
Right, I'm just going to put this in there so I don't lose it. You know what I'm like. I'll lose it if I just leave it laying around. Right. And then I got this for the lining fabric. I thought it would be quite sweet. There is fluff everywhere. I've done all them six cushions this week. Sat there stuffing them all and there is just fluff everywhere. Oh, I finished the headband from last week. I did have to um, hand stitch the last few bits. I am going to figure out what's going on with um, with the headbands, but for the moment, it's coming into winter, so not many people are going to be wearing headbands. Probably, obviously, if I get an order for one, then yeah, I will um, have to figure it out a lot sooner than planned, but. at the moment that one's been put on the back burner because obviously we've got halloween coming up we've got christmas coming up my favorite time of the year i love christmas um so yeah if people want headbands i'll happily make them i'm just putting it on the back burner at the minute because um that was a right pain last week <laughs> Let's pop that away. Cut a load of pieces of self adhesive wallpaper earlier and then cut them all too wide. Cut them down, but didn't have enough for the whole unit. Oh no! Well, that unit that I've been upcycling, Cass. Oh, honestly, mate, it is doing my head in. It's all painted and it's just got to be put back together again but wow honestly just putting it back together again is crazy right so what i'm doing is i'm folding the fabric in half because we need a curve at the top okay yeah kirsty you rubbed that in the other week love <laughs> I uh, I ain't hardly done no Christmas shopping, so shh. <laughs> right, so we're just we're not going to curve it too much, and I'm just literally going by hand, okay? So I don't know if you can see that that mark up there. I'm not even sure what you can see. So I'm just eyeballing it to make sure that it has a curve to it. There we go. And then we'll cut that round. There we go. What's up, Batman? Blame B and M's. <laughs> Very wilf. But do you know what? If you don't allow it, then it won't. It can be fairly easy, really. Right, I'm just clipping this because the top of this fabric is folding in on itself and I do need it to stay where it is. 
So I'm just laying that one on top. So that I can make sure it's all straight and lined up. And then I'm just going to go straight in and cut that. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with this. So I just need the top clipped. Turn that over that way. Make sure we're all straight. <laughs> all right, get rid of that bit now. There we go. Whoops. Oh, look. Right, so we have the, well, stuffing, lining, whatever you want to call it. Then we have the inside piece. And then we have the outside piece, okay? So what we need to do is... Right sides of the fabric together like always so we've got the lining fabric and then we've got the top fabric okay we're going to line that up and we're going to clip that all the way around with the stuff in on the underside okay so i'm going to turn that over and i'm going to clip that all the way round, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to trim this side down just a touch because the polyester lining is getting in the way a little bit there. Now, like I say, this wasn't practiced during the week, so if it turns out like a lump of what's it, just blame me, me. It's fine. I don't mind. Right, so that's all clipped up, okay? When we sew this up, we need to leave a gap at the bottom so that we can turn it in the right way, okay? So always remember, sorry, I've got right itchy back. If, um, if you're making anything, you need to remember to leave a gap when you're putting the right sides of the fabric together because otherwise you're not going to be able to turn it in the right way. Okay. Hello, Llama. How you doing? Mimi, what? What's up? Do you know what? We're going to leave that there a minute. I'm going to have a break. Just because I can. Mr. Batman wants a purse, does he? What, round his head? <laughs> Can have it round his head if he wants. 
Yeah, Baz said it's for farm foods, Llama. Would a handmade tasseled smoking cap interest you? By the way, you don't have to be a smoker to wear one. <laughs> <laughs> well Wilf my email address is always available in the description so if you would like to email me a pattern of a smoker's cap I will happily try Batman eat your trifle and shush <laughs> honestly Well, I tested the heating in the house yesterday just to make sure it works because it has started getting colder to accompany my smoking jacket. Exactly. It was Wolf's idea, not mine, but I'm more than happy to try. I'm going to try a pair of bloomers for Shandy. Smock, crock and smoker's cap. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I don't feel good. So hi or hope you will. Oh. Oh bless you. Oh thank you for popping on. It's lovely to see you. I wonder if Ange and Moonlight are watching. It is lovely to see her. Uh, Yeah, test it before the winter comes, Kirsty. I needed to um, replace the batteries in the thermostat. So, test it. Make sure it does work. <laughs> Don't worry, Llama. I've got this. I like the song. I don't know who it's by, but I like it. <clears throat> Hi, Warren. How are you? Bad work. Oh, what? It's not one thing, it's another, isn't it, Jenny? Fingers crossed that they get it all under control soon. But you've got me on um, Instagram, haven't you? Do message me and let me know how you get on, yeah? Are you aware that purse used to be euphemism for something? Yes, I am aware. Get back to your game. <laughs> No worries, Nelly. Oh, Jenny. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Do enlighten the unenlightened. If it's not appropriate, then he might not be able to, but I think you can probably guess what it was a euphemism for, Will. <laughs> I didn't say it, Batman. Frogs did, not me. Can't blame me. What phrase can we use instead of the censored P word? Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, I pop on and watch Jenny's. I normally pop on and say, hi, just popping in, leaving my thumbs up. Oh, 
First thing came to mind, oh God. <laughs> right, let's get back to this. Right, so I changed the needle back earlier on this. <laughs> See you later, Batman. Right, there we go. So, as I always say, if you don't like the noise of the sewing machine, please do mute. God, I wonder what that was then. I've just got to change this over to the white, okay? Yeah, it's been a while since we used ours as well. <laughs> Where's the end of this gone? There it is. Right, there we go. We are locked and loaded. Turn the switch on. That would help. <laughs> see the way that wall moved? Look. You can't really see it on there, can you? <laughs> my door's wide and, and dust was all over my radiators. Oh, no, Kirsty. Can you make one? Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, you remember that song, Lama? <laughs> right, so, like I said, we're going to leave a gap at the bottom so that we can turn it right sides out. Let me move that. Just getting myself comfortable. Right, so if you don't like the sound of the sewing machine, please do mute it now. The suggestion of a tasseled smoker's cap caused considerable excitement among the ladies, did it? Coupled with smocks and crocs, we could get swamped with attention. You wish, mate. <laughs> Oh, filth. Really? Honestly. Right, so let's go. Make sure I'm on the right 
Yeah. Now, when you're using this padding, you've got to be really careful, okay? Because it is quite fluffy, it will get caught under the foot. All right? So take it slowly, take it easy. And if it gets caught under the foot, stop and just unhook it. Okay. So I'm just taking this really easily. And easy as you go around the corner at the top, okay? on the corners as usual all right there we go so this isn't going to be perfect <coughs> excuse me so we need to trim off the threads and the excess fabric and padding all the way round. Okay. Oh, that one went off. Did, 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 did Nelly come back? <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> right, so I'm trimming... The extra. I'm a lady rainbow. Where do we go? What do we do? Finally, I can see through to you. Colors are flying. Baby, I'm through. All the times that I stay for you. I'm a lady right now. I'm a lady poor. Poison in my body. Still, I need you more. I'm a lady right now. 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 I'm a lady Oh, fluff everywhere now. Right, so there we go. We have all that stitched together. Oh, what, what's giving you traumatic images, Cass? Right, so we go to the opening at the bottom and then we just turn it right sides out. <laughs> 
okay so tuck all that in push it all through and if you leave a big enough gap you can do it really easily like i said it's only a simple one for today pop those corners through properly Oh, there you are, Nelly. Are you okay, lovely? Sounds like a surgical procedure. <laughs> so at the moment, it looks like an oven mitt, which I haven't actually made yet. <laughs> so then what we need to do is we need to close this gap at the end, okay? I'm letting so all we do is we fold over both fabrics and then we close that gap okay that's it exactly right llama just trimming that padding a little bit more because it's interfering with the with the hemming at the bottom Right, so there we go. I've clipped that at the bottom, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to top stitch all the way round, making sure to go over the the hem in as well. Cheers. <laughs> Do you want to do this, Lama? I can put the link in for you. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so top stitch all the way round, okay? <laughs> Would help if I turned it on. Don't catch the clips. so that thumping noise is literally because it's going through three layers we've got two layers of fabric and one layer of padding okay oh house bricks that's such an awesome idea Nelly <laughs>
and a little back stitch at the end. Okay. So there we go. We're all there's a little mark on that that can't get off. So top stitch is done all the way around. Okay. <laughs> I got bulldog tips. I got little ones and huge ones. <laughs> right, so what we're gonna do is literally fold the bottom up. Alright, and then fold the top over to create the little purse idea. Okay. Now, it's not perfect. I've never claimed my work is perfect, and I'm not about to start. But what we do need is some clips for after. <laughs> No, because it's not an oven glove. <laughs> no, no. Right, so we just eyeball it to see. That looks about right to me. No one I see you. So we're going to top stitch each side. Okay. So again, the thumping is purely because it's going through so many layers of fabric. Okay. And then we're going to do the other side. Right, there we go. Oh, that padding keeps coming off the, the leg. Right, so there we go. And then we fold the top over. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure out where to put our, um, what they call them, snap buttons, the poppers. Okay. You can hand stitch a button onto this. You could use a sewing machine and do a buttonhole on here. Okay, I said you were making a bag to take to farm foods. Yeah, that's Baz, Nelly. <laughs> you should never listen to Baz. Come on. <laughs> this is Baz. No one pays attention to Baz. Right, so I think we're going to go for a nice light blue.
<laughs> right so i'm just gonna make I'm using this just folding this over this all comes in a kit by the way the poppers and the pliers and everything stop confuddling me well you should never listen to baz come on this is baz <laughs> So I'm making a hole for this to go into, okay? Just so, <clears throat> sorry, hold on. Right, just so it's easier for the poppers to go through, okay? And then what we do is so the blank side I don't know if you can even see that and then the tip pops out of the other side it was popping out the other side and then we cover it with it says male oh it says male and female connectors okay <laughs> pop it in the pliers <laughs> they are a bit squeaky what can i say <laughs> And then we do the bottom one. So you make sure that that sharp point is pushed through before you add the other side. Because otherwise it's just not going to connect. Are they at it? Are they frogs? <laughs> And then under the pliers again. Sometimes these do fail, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes they don't. And there we go. Nice, simple purse. So let's see if it's going to fail, shall we? No, it didn't. So there you go. There's the lining, and it does have a little bit of padding to it, so it is a little bit thick. Okay. I think that looks quite cute. <laughs> now, considering. I didn't even test this that's not too bad <laughs> that's, I thought, that's not too bad normally i'm so set on testing them before a live stream and i frogs yeah actually do you know what let's test it i won't show you the um the cover of my phone. There you go, phone's in there. Might need to be a little bit wider for a phone. But yeah. so there we go not bad going for winging it hey <laughs> oh is that just falling out the bottom Right, let me take my box up. I 
can find my tape, of course. Might be in that one. There we go. Uh, well, maybe a small one, Lama. <laughs> Gonk screaming in pain. Oh, hubby bought me a little light up one during the week. It's got um, it's got mum on it, a little purple, and you flick the switch at the bottom, and it lights up. So yeah, that's another gonk to add to my collection. I might actually have to sell some of them off because I've got so many. <laughs> oh, sorry, Llama. Are you still waiting for measurements? Well, you're going to have to wait a minute because I'm taping my box up. <laughs> right right so like i said mimi i saw a gonk in b &Ms. I've got, I know, it's so cool. So like I said, rather than going live during the week again to air any grievances, <clears throat> we will do it after I finish the crafts, okay? Sometimes the content doesn't touch the same. <laughs> right, so Llama wants the measurements. Give me a minute. <laughs> A pee hole for what? For the poppers. Right, okay. Right, so we are six inches wide. And six and a half inches tall. Is that okay? Yeah. But it's obviously more than that because it goes over there. So, yeah. It is six inches wide, okay? Right, so yeah, as I said, I'm not going to do lives during the week. I've changed my mind. What we'll do is we will, um, very respectable, Will. We will do it after the live streams. Once I finish the craft, we will set out half an hour um, to air any grievances. So... The floor's all yours. If anyone wants to come up, I'll happily put the link in. <laughs> yes. No, not a problem, Will. No problem at all. I quite like that. I might give that to Sidekick. Now what she's like for unicorns. I'll let her have that. Oh, I did get a couple of kits as well while I was out during the week. So they're going to be coming soon. And we've got two ideas for Halloween. One in the run-up and then one on, um, I think it's the night before Halloween. Because I think Halloween falls on a Monday. So I think it's the night before Halloween. Right, where's the cover to my machine? Just so that you all know that we've we've finished this now and you guys have the floor. The first, third, the per <laughs> No, like I say, I'll I'll want the channel to be a place where people can come and say what they need to say. You know, I'm not gonna um I'm not going to stop you. If you've got something to say, then you guys say it. I just thought we'd set out a specific part of the stream rather than um, just doing it all throughout the stream. Yes, I, um, I was sent that, Cass. There will be no divide created by anyone because 
we all know each other better than that, don't we? That's the difference. They don't know how well we know each other. All right. Is it on, is it, tonight, Wilf? Yes, Shandy does great videos. She really does. Because what she does is the truth. Just like Lama, she puts out exactly what is said. No altering the voices or whatever. It's exactly what this person has said. So, you know, if you don't want it, you don't want it shown, then shut your mouth basically sorry Cass I missed that one lovely trying to create arguments between Lama and I over past arguments it's because I've got nothing better to do so do I Nelly but then their lives would be so boring if they didn't How would you remedy that? Well, you would have to get a needle and a thread, Lama. And you would have to hand stitch it, my friend. Or run it through the sewing machine again. Oh, they're watching everything. So Shandy would have blood on her hands, but then tried to walk it back. The amount of things that have been retracted once they've realised or she's realised what she said is hilarious it really is because there's no getting away from it do you know what I mean there's no getting out of it needle and thread that's right mm, I'm not a sheep and I don't follow along the oh yes man just because someone says something to try and upset me this is what I mean. No one knows how close we actually are, Cass. You know, with frogs, Lama, Shandy, myself. Of course you can, Nelly. You can say whatever you want. That's what this part is for. The crafts are done. That's all put away. The cover's on this. So carry on. Removes every live stream, live stream to limit cross-referencing and exposure of, like that's going to limit it. Really. She said a lot about us, hasn't she, frogs? We made peace and moved on. They don't like it. They don't. They really don't. They don't like seeing people happy and getting on and, you know, enjoying YouTube. I enjoy coming on YouTube. And the amount of messages I've received saying, thank you so much, Mimi, for being a safe live stream where we can come and we can talk and we can say what we want to. You know, I'm more than happy. Needs to admit how she treated me and how she's still lying and that vile comment. Iodine be necessary for what? In case you cut yourself. Oh. <laughs> I meant a fabric purse, Llama. Do you know what? I still haven't put these up, frogs. Yeah, just a bit, Lama. And I'll be there. I'm running it because you know I care.
You're pretty. Oh, Cass, that'd be awesome. Just leave that there for now. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably llama. Well, I suppose it depends who it is. Because if it's the peas on that one, then personally I wouldn't give no anaesthetic. I'd give it a hammer. But that's just me. <laughs> Right, from Nelly, I don't hate or dislike people. I dislike the behaviour I witnessed and heard from these people. No one has turned me against anyone. I make my own mind up based on my own experiences with a person. Well said, Nelly. Nah, just stitch it up. <laughs> Yeah, clearly. Mm. There we go. And that one's on my threads. Mm. Yes, I noticed. Well, you can use pliers if you want. Personally, I'd use a hammer. <laughs> They'd use their real name if they had conviction. Well, you could use poppers as well, llama. <laughs> Whatever you wish. Depends on the person, really, doesn't it? Mm. That's the one, isn't it? But Mimi was my friend. Never said that. Never said that at all. That's down to you if you thought that. Not down to me. Let's get something different. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry. Um, oh, thank you, Kirsty. I think the world of me I think the world of Mimi Frog, Cash, Shandy, Sophie, and Lama. They've always been nothing but kind to me. <coughs> Sorry. And you've been nothing but kind to me. And others as well, Nelly. So I'm going to think no different of you. No matter what anyone says. I see it. Whack my shelf off. Why not? No night, Kirsty. Thank you. Bless you. She is a sweetheart. She really is. We need to explore the whys and wherefores of the pea and establish exactly what's what and what's where. Oh, do you really want to, Wilf? I wouldn't. She is, Cass. Oh. Why does the Shih Tzu always make up non-existent friendships, truces and agreements? See, I said to Shandy, did you have a truce? Honestly, Wilf and Lama trying to help with the pogo ball problems, yep. Yeah. 
So, Wilf, did you want to send me the pattern for the smoker's hat? I'll happily give it a try. I am more than prepared to try anything, sewing wise, of course. If anyone told me different, I'd tell them exactly what I think too. I don't speak up on every bit of drama except if it breaks my moral beliefs and if I know someone is truly good. <clears throat> I knew that was told. <laughs> See, this is it. It's like me and you spoke about it, didn't we, Cass? When I got asked to thank you for coming on, Warren. Thank you for your support again, mate. It's really lovely to have you on here. You have a lovely week. And I'll see you Sunday, hopefully. I'll try and pop on during the week. No problem, Wilf. My email address is right there, mate. But, yeah, we discussed the whole um, swear on your daughter's life when I got asked to do that, didn't we? Whether I know I'm right or I'm wrong, I would never swear on my child's life. Because I don't think it's morally right. You shouldn't shouldn't be doing stuff like that. Not at all. That's why I said no. I will swear on my life, not hers. For growing it so I can form a ZZ Top tribute band. <laughs> oh, honestly, frogs. I couldn't believe that when I got asked to do that. No. Not happening. No way. The what measurement? English llama, please. <laughs> it is. That's why I said no. I would never. Whether I know I'm right or wrong, I would never do it. That's why I swore on mine. I'm not going to swear on hers. She's the most precious thing in, in my life, in my husband's life. Why would I? Why, and why would I even be asked to do that? No, nah, that's just wrong. You don't ever ask anyone to do that. For the screenshot crew, it's a joke between Nelly and I. Suck them eggs. <laughs> I love that phrase. Suck on them eggs. <laughs> exactly, Wilf. I knew I was right that time when we was accused of saying that she looks like she has Down syndrome. I was right. I knew I was right because I know we would never do anything like that. And I didn't, I ignored frogs that night because she was saying to me, don't, don't go on, don't go on. But I ignored her because I'm like, no, I'm putting this straight. Would never do anything like that. But there's still no way I'm going to swear on my child's life. She's my, my only child. Yeah, not at all. Vowed to vowed to stuff on her children's lives and then broken it. Yeah, I feel the same, Mimi. See, this is it. We spoke about it, didn't we, Cass? With violence once. I didn't promise on my kid's life. I won't ever swear on it, even if I could prove my point. Yep. A joke between friends. I've had mums promise on their kid's life, then break that promise in front of me. Yeah. See, I knew I was right. But I still would never swear on her life. You do, Cass. It, it makes you angry. Because that, that child, children, however many children you've got, they should be the most precious thing in your life. Not something to just swear on whenever you want to get out of something. No. I did say she belongs in a zoo. I said it publicly too, because in my opinion, she does. I mean, last time I saw something like that, it was definitely behind bars in a zoo. <laughs> it fell to stuff on her children's lives and then broken it yet. Yeah. Your gob's big enough, go suck eggs. <laughs> Never swear on someone's life or a loved one's memories. No. 
No, you just wouldn't do it. It's not right at all. It's really not. That's, that's why I've done it on mine. I knew I was right, so I swear on my life. This is to do with me, not her. She's got nothing to do with it. And that's another reason why she doesn't come on here. I don't let... All right, you hear her giggle. You hear her laugh. That's as much as you'll ever know. Because I've seen how bad things get. So she's not being subjected to all the crap that people put on YouTube. She's a child. She shouldn't be subjected to it. You know, this is an over 18s channel, but I'm fully aware that under 18s do watch, which is why the chat goes once I'm finished, because these couple of under 18s watch the next day or the day after. They watch with adult supervision because I've spoke to their carers. So this is why I decided to do the crafts at the beginning and then the chat at the end. Because at least then these little ones can turn off. No, it's not justifiable. So hi, Baz. Now it's time to have you say about, now that should be Miss, because she ain't a missus. Biggie knickers. I am going to make a set of bloomers for Shandy. I am. I've got a pattern for a pair of gatches. Knickers, in other words. Makes sense, Mimi. My kids are adults, but I keep them off camera. Yeah. Ash doesn't come on camera, does he? I've never seen him on camera. Bless him. He always makes sure to say hello to everyone, doesn't he? And no matter whether he's playing the game or concentrating or not, I always get a, hi, Mimi Ray. <laughs> They're good kids, Cass. They're a credit to you. They really are. Absolute credit to you. There are a select few who are prepared to go lower than a snake's belly with comments. When a troll account makes particularly disgusting comments, it'll be the usual suspect, yeah. Of course. We were not discussing about Cass earlier. Yes, she has a wish list, but she doesn't beg or keep on for people to look at. See, this is the difference. This is why I said, in my opinion, my personal opinion, I will not be doing a wish list or a paypal link or anything else because i chose to start up the channel i chose to do crafts so therefore i pay for it i would never ask for help from anybody <laughs> they haven't wilf i refuse to put my family on any social media they are my private life and will always remain private this is exactly how i feel about Poppet because you know, no, she's a child. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is it. Criticise someone for doing it and then um, go and do it yourself. It is a bit hypocritical. Yeah, that's the one. Hypocritical. Yep. Yeah, and we respect your choice to have that there. You know, we the thing is, like I said earlier, we know each other better, Cass. So you know that none of those comments were aimed at you. You know that those comments were aimed at a certain person in particular. And if you had any doubts... You have us on Messenger, Instagram, you know, you can just ask. But you know those comments weren't aimed at you. This is the difference between knowing someone on YouTube and knowing someone personally. I'm very much with my hands, as you've noticed. Yes, you do, Jerry boy, definitely, which is why you can hear her giggle, but that's it. 
Groin length is the new knee length exhibit. <laughs> Oh dear. Do you know what though? He did um, call her out, didn't he? And that was a couple of years ago. But he did. Um, he did get his own back, and I'm glad he did. You know, he's not not really my cup of tea, to be fair. But that video that he done calling her was it one of the biggest trolls on YouTube, and the hypocrisy that comes from it. He was right. She tried to attack Jerry Boy too because he made his own mind up and yet again blamed us. And she says it's all from three years ago. That's when it restarted. When she started on Jerry Boy for having us as mods. That's when it all started. Anyone could come up. I don't mind putting the link in if I can figure out how to do it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't mind anyone coming up. I've got what twenty minutes left. If they were shorts, not knickers, then they were either bloomers or pajama shorts. Agreed. They were knickers. They were knickers. That's my opinion. They were knickers. I've never seen Cass put a wish list on any stream. No, never have I. costs a lot of time and energy including editing see this is why i live stream and well as you see little lady's done a couple of videos for me because she's so much better at it than i am but you know i just it, it's easier for me to live stream especially while i'm making something so i've not got a camera up here and if i knock it then it's, this way it's just easier for me you know videos and editing is easier for you because you need to take time to heal yourself as well as try and put content out i know it's been tough for you lately but then that's why videos and editing is is your thing to do and you're bloody good at it i tell you definitely Cass has clear channel costs yeah mm. Leave Nelly alone too. She's my window licker. <laughs> See, to target people on here because they're on here is quite pathetic. Because you're not getting the um, attention you want. Yeah, that's a bit. It's a bit daft, really. It's like Nelly says, she takes people on their own merits. Everyone does. And what have I said to people coming on here? take us on our own merits don't listen to other people i mean i know for a fact that this person messaged three people to get them off my channel three but she sits there and says oh i've never messaged anyone and told them not to go somewhere really because i've spoke to these people and i've seen what was sent so yeah she is good at it yeah, quality content. Yeah. What was that one that I missed? Her channel is just sitting online talking. Takes more money or energy. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It is quite pathetic. If they were PJ shorts, then... She was still wearing underwear because she said she had no nick. Oh, sorry, not sorry. She uses YouTube as a form of free therapy and to get attention. End of. She stated she's got no friends in the outside, like in the real world. I mean, yeah, that's sad. Don't get me wrong, that that is sad, and I feel for her. But then the way she treats people on YouTube is it any wonder she doesn't have friends? Just saying. That is disgusting. <laughs> Did you measure the oh llama? No measurements are done on this channel, no one else's. <laughs> yeah, I know, Jerry Boy. I know. The thing is your grievance with her 
was just because we were on the channel you know she started on you because we were there so i completely understand why you don't you try not to give her too much attention don't you i know and it's fine you know i've listened to some of your um, music streams and i've popped in and i've said hi and then i'm like going around the kitchen not in my head so you, your music's good if i was a normal family mum with incomes coming in i'd probably not bother monetizing either as would be a hobby only and, but for me it's something i can do yeah mm -hmm. and what she did to me still lies about me and that vile comment she also accused baz of stuff too yeah liz you're late where you been <laughs> last night she was disappointed that her top wasn't tight okay no it's not bad for a tenner a month you're right see i'm terrible i have to have baggy tops i just can't no nah. sleeping oh do you want to see what i made yuck ready made a little purse and i didn't even test it beforehand i winged it <laughs> Ouch. Only she can change her life. Yes, it would take hard work and a lot of emotions. I would be the first to support anyone who is helping themselves, but will not support a pity party. It's not healthy. Oh, thank you. You can no, this one's for sidekick. I can make you one if you want. If anyone wants anything, honestly, my email address is always in the description. Frogs puts it in at the beginning. Email me or find me on Instagram. It's all in the description. You can have one if you. I can do one exactly the same if you wish. I had jabber knickers were tight. Oof. Wolf has no footage. Oh, I don't think I'd want footage. But let me know when you find out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mimi's work is freaking amazing and so are you I've offered that support nearly even after having lies told about me but I offered to help got grief for it as if I was being disrespectful and not getting how it feels Ugh. Oh, thank you, Jerry boy. I think it's been seen enough. I have every understanding, and that's why I was willing to help. See, I even said when she first put her face on the screen, well done. It takes a lot, because I started off not, not wanting my face on. It takes a lot. But then again, that was thrown in my face as well, so I thought, why bother? And then that like all the crap had already started by then so stuff it i thought there's no point in even showing it a, a shred of compassion because it's just going to get twisted and thrown in your face oh jerry boy there's your channel again mate see when i first came onto youtube you were still on there cass but you wasn't on there for long because I sort of saw parts of what happened and I thought, hmm, okay, maybe I shouldn't come on just yet. And it wasn't until all that quietened down and I think you and someone else had been booted, basically, that was when I went on. 
Yeah, but you need to stop mind controlling me. <laughs> Is it that frogs again? She does it to me all the time, apparently. Mind controlling Cinderella, wasn't it? Oh. Went on camera. Yeah, see, there was all those mistakes, wasn't there? But the streams weren't deleted. They were left up. So that was in the amount of times everyone was saying, put something over the camera. So if it was to turn around, no one's going to see you. Just for the live stream, put something on the camera. So. Uh, hi, Ash. <laughs> You're all right. We're looking after mum. I missed that. What was that, Liz? People can only be helped if they want it. If they don't take the help off and stuff them. Couldn't have put it better myself, to be fair. Right, I'm going to go chase Jerry Boy. <laughs> oh, that's it. She's gone. Yes, I remember that, Baz. Because mm, it was. Completely. Sorry, got to move my legs about. Yeah, completely. Still didn't protect her, did it? Still got up here because she let it. The amount of times I said to her, don't let it get to you. Not just me, other people. Don't let it get to you. Let it go over your head. Things that people have come on and said on here. Not just about me. About my daughter as well. Goes over my head. Because no shit who went live on camera for hours. What, face as well? No, he just popped in frogs. Not on the channel, popped in Cassie's living room. One cat of all of them running around the house like a loon. Oh, Gunner does that. Honestly, it's like a mad five minutes. He goes up the stairs. And then decides, that's it, I'm bolting. And he's not little, he's a fairly chunky staffy. Runs it down the stairs, right the way through the living room, through the kitchen, out in the garden. You turn back in. It is funny. He cracks me up. Yeah, he came in the room, not actually on the channel. <laughs> now that was just me being silly saying hello to him. Oh, it is. I'll, t I'll let you know, frogs. Um, I'll send it to you. Oh, bless him. He's live at the minute. I love you. I love you. With nobody in love. Nobody. With nobody love. We were tripping out, Frog. <laughs> now I've just sent it to her. She's going to go and grab it. Thank you, Froggy. FYI, this is not a hate or bully stream. Each comment is that person's opinion or experience. Very true, Nelly. And the stream for a good, what, hour and 20 minutes, I was making this. So... But thank you for stating that. Leave the kids out of it. Don't bring up the kids. They need to leave Munchkin alone. Or, oh, Auntie Liz will get cross. So we have an Auntie Liz, an Auntie Nelly, an Auntie Cass, Auntie Frogs, Uncle Batman. Any other volunteers? <laughs> Oh, do you know what, Wilf, that name? Wow. She tried it with me when I went on. And I just went, go away. You know, 
If you don't want to know what's being said, don't sit there watching screenshotting then. She didn't like it. Mimi, no, Shih Tzu went live on camera for hours. Ah, okay. That Was that before I? Lama is right. Was that before I went on? Because I don't remember. I only remember the mistakes. Uncle Lama. If he wants to be classed as Uncle Lama, then that's fine. Oh, we've also got Auntie Ange. Uncle Scott's. <laughs> I don't know about Moonlight. Oh, and Auntie Sophie. And Auntie Shandy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever actually bullied anyone. I don't think I... I think, personally, I've been defending. If you guys have a different opinion, then please do tell me if I've ever bullied anyone. Put it in the chat. But I just think that I'm trying to defend myself and frogs. Uncle Bez. <laughs> she said, I'm watching this now all the time, but she must be watching me to know. Yep. Probably screenshot in now. Excuse me. Yeah, you bully me, do I? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> no, no. Remember, frogs, it's the other way round. You bully me, remember. So it's been said. You tell me what to say and do all the time. Do you not remember? <laughs> I want the public falling out because apparently word has it that's what friends do. Not publicly, they don't. Mimi, if you tried to bully, I'd tell you to F.O. You're no bully, you are. Thank you, Liz. Thank you very much. See, this is it. I know people on here would pull me up. I know, especially Frogs and Nelly and Liz, you know, and I know I'd get it from Lama and Shandy. You know, that's not defending Mimi, that's bullying. And I'd be... Okay, and I'd apologise for it because it's just the sort of person I am. Back a few years ago, yeah, I was a different person. I stupidly trusted someone, so sue me. I call people canut, but that's actually a word I can use for friends and enemies, and I say that to keep it less personal. Welsh and Shih Tzu have been fighting again. I have seen pull you up. I'd knock you out. I'm <laughs> coming in. <laughs> yeah, see, no one should attack anyone's looks or family. I completely agree with that. Or health issues. Everyone's got something going on in life. You know, most people don't know what I've got going on in my real life, and they will never, ever know. But I think that what not, that's what annoys people, because they don't know as much about me as what they want. Not my problem, that's theirs. Mimi's going to start effing and jeffing at Frog live, then tell us all it's private and nothing to do with us. <laughs> oh, dear. You lot. Baz, please tell me how I can check that and get rid. Because I've tried. How many times did I beg it to uns unsub? Because it didn't want to see what was going on. And then it says, I heard on Shandy's video, oh, I've only just unsubbed. I don't like unsubbing to people. Yeah, but when someone asks you, please unsub, you know, piss off go away do you not think you should do that remember llama names please come on mate i don't know that person and i don't want to be involved in their arguments at all Cass, do i put that up on the screen <laughs> 
I don't know that person. I've said in, in comments, I don't know that person. I don't want to get involved. But it affected other people the way it's now affecting that person a few years ago. We've all trusted people that have used and abused us. When we defend them, then find out what lying. Yeah. And that's what happened with Frog and I. That's exactly it. You can't delete her, but you can stop it from subbing. And oh yeah, I've done that. I've done that ages ago, Baz. Anyone else see the uncanny resemblance between Teresa Co Coffee? Kofi? I don't even know who that person is, mate. Hi, Kirsty. What are you doing back, lovely? Only Shih Tzu thinks a global pu public broadcast is a chat between friends. I saw that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, what can I say? Two short planks comes to mind. So I bought a couple of kits. Do you want to see them? You can decide whether you want me to do them on the channel or they're, um, they're too naff. <laughs> No, I was just ending the crafting, Kirsty. Remember what I said at the beginning where I'd let people have their say at the end? I was just ending the crafting, lovely. We was having a chat afterwards. Yeah, you want to see? You lot best not be channel hopping. Or me, me will have a thing cry. <laughs> Delete your... Oh, God, no. So, they're only cheap. Don't get me wrong. I ain't adverse to paying pound shop prices i'm not fast i got a stencil kit now i can do canvas bags on the yeah wouldn't they cass um mimi i'm going a bit deaf turn your volume up <laughs> i can do canvas bags on the embroidery machine okay and i can make canvas bags you've seen me make a bag you've seen me use the embroidery machine but I thought a stencil kit, something different, and I'm going to go make something to it. Oh, thank you, Jerry boy. Push me to leave. Never going to happen, no. Thank you for coming on, mate. Have a lovely week, okay? Hope your mum had a lovely holiday, and thank you. So, yeah, I'm not going to cover the prices up because they're just cheap kits. It is a stencil kit. I thought Christmas is coming up, Halloween's coming up. People like to buy presents. So this was in the works. Both of them were in the works. So if anyone shops at the works and they want to get something cheap for a family member, you can see how it's done. And I've actually got um, Disney stencils as well. But yeah, she did. Oh, brilliant. Take care, Jerry boy. Thank you. So, yeah, they're only cheap, but I thought, why not? Give it a go. I love the works as well. And then this one. Can you see what it is yet? What was that? What did Baz say? I'm channel hopping between BBC One and BBC Two. So this is, yes. And as you can see, it was only seven pound. I would have paid the twelve ninety nine. But I thought we'd do this. Little lady is so into Harry Potter. So I thought, why not? She did want the spider, but I'm like, no, it's too big. So it's a 3D model, and you can leave it wooden, or you can leave it, or you can paint it. But I thought, if I do the wooden part, then little lady can paint it if she wants to. And it comes with, um, these are really quite cute. It's like, um, you've got 
all the all the ones that you can collect at the top i don't know if i chopped that off no i didn't and then you've got a book as well introduction and it tells you about all the um all the pets as well as um it's got trevor trevor mrs norris fang fang is gorgeous um folks nagini and then it sort of tells you so i thought do you know what it's only something little but if anyone wanted to get these for christmas they are perfect comes with like i say the little book and the the model as well is that queen to me she wants me to slap it what it's wooden llama <laughs> so yeah i thought i'll do a canvas bag i'll use the kit and then i might do another one with my disney letter in and i'm gonna have a go at this at hedwig as well because like i say they had load they had all the others the hat dobby um the spider the train i want to do the train i would love to do the train hi sophie oh where are you popping in to say hi and sending love to all hope you're all well i can't stay just wanted to say hi oh thank you thank you for popping in but yeah these are seven pounds now down from 12.99 out of the works so if you wanted to get some for christmas they are so worth it most definitely so yeah they're going to be coming up over the next few weeks i didn't mean to like stop everyone's ranting but go for it i want to do a diamond painting i keep seeing but it's one of the more expensive ones ah okay i got bought the um the labyrinth one yeah, I know that one was a lot more expensive than, than the other more simpler ones. But I love it. So gorgeous. There's a, a short about it. Aragog and the Hogwarts Express. Yeah, I might have to get them, Nelly. I'm going to have to. Jabba Potter is better, though. Can make two litre bottles this <laughs> See, now I wouldn't give it the Potter name. No. Master has given Dobby a sock. I know, I love Dobby. Thoughts and prayers in the US. What's happened in the US, Sophie? I've seen a Labyrinth one too, it's more expensive. Yeah. I wasn't, I looked at it, but I thought, hmm, couldn't justify it you know with a family as well like what you have so yeah my granddaughter loves building models and painting things I, do you know what i've got um some others indoors liz are you in contact with cat 911 colts oh where is my head yeah Colts. sorry it's 9 11 today yeah Colts, because it was gunner's birthday yesterday <sighs> sorry i do apologize i've just forgot i do forget my own name sometimes <laughs> but yeah liz i've got um others indoors that um I was given a massive box of crafts crafting stuff you are in contact with cass if i send cass some pictures you're more than welcome to a few of them because they're just sitting in there doing nothing i nearly didn't pick up on it because so wrapped up and watching the queen making her final travels that's what i've been concentrating on because of course we were celebrating gunner's birthday in the morning and then come the afternoon the news of the queen hit and i'm like okay not gonna forget that day are we 
Yes, please. She will love them. I can send them to Cass and Cass can send them on if you don't want to send me any details. That's not a problem. Don't don't worry about that. Um, no, Llama. Didn't think about that too long, did I? <laughs> Liz is one who I've always been close with behind the scenes. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I'll send some pictures on. Honestly. Got loads of little wooden... There's little wooden key rings um, that haven't been touched. They haven't been painted or anything. And then there's the larger ones, um, like the little model kits. I'll send us some pictures. Right, so I'm going to have one last ciggy with you and then I'm going to shoot off myself. Might not be keen me using the hot glue gun on you though. <laughs> I never will, that's what I like to hear. Liz is awesome. She is. So is Sophie. Oh, we called you Auntie Sophie earlier. Because Liz was saying about Auntie Liz for Little Lady. And I said, yeah, Auntie Frogs, Auntie Nelly, Auntie Sophie, Auntie Cass. Auntie Shandy. Um, I don't do bling, Llama. There's been so much grief on both sides of the world in the last few days alone. There has. There really has. Ah, see you soon, Sophie. Thank you. No, I don't do all that crap, Llama. Not at all. It's not for me. Do you know what? Everyone I've spoke to has said that, Cass. Felt a lot more emotion emotional than we ever expected to. Mm. Yeah. What's this? Kellen, Cass, me, me and myself and Llama were talking about it when we weren't, eh? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Auntie Sophie. Yeah. There is, um, an embroidery design that's been given out. Um, it's a small crest. Let me see if I can show you. Um, and I have put it up. So... It was basically if anyone wanted any. These can be made. So I'm trying to get the right angle. So that's been a design that's been given to the um, embroidery community to basically say, share, spread the love, you know, share her picture, share the crest, share, because obviously the crest is going to have to be changed as well. So, I mean, by all means, if anyone would, would like one, your llama toes need to be pointed bright red. But yeah, that, that was shared yesterday that'll do frogs uncle pepper pot trough will fry okay but yeah that was shared yesterday when it happened not long after it happened it's quite um 
quite sad seeing that pop up. If anyone would like this design, then by all means, please take it and share out. So, you know, are you gluing gems for him, are you? That's all right. You can do it on Llama. It doesn't go on my stuff. No. Yes, please. What was that for, Liz? What was the yes, please for, my lovely? Did you want one? I said, I'll happily do you one. <laughs> oh, lovely wealth. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Would you like one of each or was there one particular that you wanted? Do you have email, Liz? Or did you? would you prefer if I went through Cass, if that's okay with Cass? Yeah, that's no problem. Like I say, I'm happy to to make them up for people if it's going to help people remember and you know i'm going to make a couple up for me to put them in the window she was an amazing lady and she needs to be remembered as far as i'm concerned so yeah no problem you want some pjs cass <laughs> problem that's okay because it'd be easier to talk to you that way like i said i don't mind going through cass but it'd be easier if i could email you that'd be great would you mind cass if you could send me lizzie's email address lovely <laughs> thought you said piggies then cass i need me eyes tested <laughs> I want a Newcastle brownie bottle warmer. Do you now? Well, put me an email and I'll make you one, mate. <laughs> How big do you want it? Coke bottle size? <laughs> yes, I know, Llama. You need to clear it out, mate. No, frogs, you really don't need one. <laughs> you can kind of tell, though, can't you, Will? If someone hasn't got one on or they have, you, you can kind of tell. What's the whipping thing? I am not even going to scroll up and find out. <laughs> I want to order myself a larger, um, like a thermos cup. I've seen the, the new ones with the straws. Um, and I want to get Mimi Ray's Crafty Corner on it. I've seen them on um, online. I've just got to get it made. <laughs> so you never know. If I can't get the vinyl for it, I might make a cover, Baz. And I'll show you. Put ones, put them on a pen drive, and then it'll be cleared. Mm. It's taken him forever, Liz. It really has.
Yeah, I think that's where I saw them, Liz. You know which ones I'm on about? The tall ones with, um, they're like, they're taller than this. Probably like that tall. It goes thin at the bottom and then... <laughs> and it's got a straw and I want to get get it either um, vinyl on the side or I can... Baz has given me a brilliant idea. I can make a bottle warmer for it. <laughs> it just doesn't say stay warm for the whole two hours. Ah, ah. Ooh. Well, maybe when I get your email, once I've emailed you, you can send me a link. What do you reckon? <laughs> Who's acting all sweet and innocent? What, me? <laughs> I'm never innocent, me. <laughs> but I can admit it. She paddled me. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think he does, Liz. Yeah. <laughs> and then being positioned oh dear oh wow yeah that's a bit um hmm. right i'm going to turn this off And get myself packed up because I've still got to do, to got to do, got stuff to do indoors. Is it a pink fluffy one? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I think this conversation needs ending. <laughs> Face down or up. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll best shoot as well, Baz. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to clear off now. Any ideas for next week? Chuck them my way. You know the email address, you know the Instagram, you know the channels here to stick your comments on. So chuck me any ideas, okay? We've only got what we in September. We've got just about a month and a half till halloween so if not we'll do the canvas bag next week okay but please have a lovely week thank you all for coming on yet again you're all amazing you're all awesome <laughs> frogs liz thank you for coming it doesn't matter if you're late you obviously you were sleeping i ain't gonna moan at you for that but have a lovely week, everyone. Stay safe. Look after yourselves and each other. And remember to smile. Life is good. Over and out. <laughs>